Never thought I'd be holding a front camera, walking around New York City, but uh, life comes at you fast, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Embrace the cringe, Embrace right? Embrace it. I am cringe, but I'm free. Exactly, bro. <laughs> it's a formula. All right, we're heading to Atelier, which is like, I'm pretty sure I have it in my last like three or four videos, yeah. no lie. But it's just the best, you know? It's the spot. Yeah, I copped this like Kiko set last week. I realized it was a jacket and pair oh. of pants. But if it wasn't a set, I wouldn't have copped That's the crazy. pants. Do you know what I'm oh. saying? Yeah, another pair of black pants. <laughs> yeah, and also they sent me the wrong size, so I have to go to exchange <laughs> you gotta go it, anyway. it anyway. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. It's fucking hot as balls. I'm with my personal trainer. Sorry. It's a light day, man. Light day. I don't know, bro. Looks looks pretty heavy to me. The Kiko pants. I think we need the reviews. <laughs> the Uniqlo white perspector. <laughs> Kiko pants and the set I got is like the first thing I bought for retail in so long. Like maybe ever. Also, right now it's sales season everywhere. Also, it's extra painful. Yeah. You know what I mean, you just see shit like 50, 60 percent off final sale. Like full price. Nah, bro. variations on this. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, does yeah. the brown one have the, it has laces instead? Like I think these are new, these are new. These are the new ones? Yeah. But the base is just the same, right? Yeah. The Dries pants you got? Cute. So soft. Yeah. Flow really nicely. The flow. What's so much God, I, I got a steel. <laughs> Elite consumer. Yeah. <laughs> Final our, boss our of elite, consumers. Our, our oh, this is what we tried it on like last time with that. Yeah. Yeah. Hot as hell. Yeah, that day was like a hundred fucking yeah. degrees, bro. And we were just trying on jackets. Padded <laughs> overcoat. <laughs> They're so stiff though. Pause. Holy shit. Bella, I think they're called. Bella Cargos. Don't quote me on that, but. Ton of good Rick. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. Uh, Something yeah. light. 2.7. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. Sorry, buddy. Something more important has <laughs> come about. It's giving such Final Fantasy maker. Right. I love that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, just turn on now. Yeah. I feel like I'm in Paris right now. Dude, it, it drapes so nicely. Do you like structured blazers or more? No, I, I, I like this. Well, also like I have really structured blazers, so I think I'm looking for something more like this. But this vibe is fire. Oh yeah, and then I'll just get, I'll just get it. Yes. For I think it's on sale. Yeah, is it comfortable? Yo, low key though. It's not Man high. stepped out in the it's jumps. Not... <laughs> Dude, it actually fit you perfectly. <laughs> Yo, 40 for this is low key. Yeah, it's like, dude, such a good dude. Just hang it up on your wall for 40. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. They don't know about the. Oh, yeah. Bro, you do give me astronaut vibes now. Right? Yeah. Opium astronaut. Yeah. <laughs> dude, if Rick designed for like NASA, you probably could or just chop off the top. for like a separate piece, too. Hmm. Bro. Just step out in the city like this. I feel like I bought as many things from the women's store as I have from the men's. <laughs> How sick this is. That's nuts, actually. It's nuts. Oh, it's oh, it's like a separate. Yeah. Oh 
and it zips off. 1500 though. Tough. Uh, it's, it's not quality. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's pretty sick. It's heavy. You can also take it off, right? Like yeah. zip it. Yeah. It's a two for one, man. <laughs> no, it's really good. It's really good. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, you wanna try it? Don't go to school. <laughs> Dude, imagine pulling up to class and you put like two hot <laughs> You don't know this is Dion Lee Fall Order 23. Not this fall. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Right. I like the yeah, collar the, or the lapel. This. Yeah. A lot of these like cuts like this. The yeah. no lapel. Yeah. It's a Japanese brand. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. it's small. <laughs> the plight of trying on women's clothing. <laughs> This wraps. What is it? I'm not sure. Probably like Sakai or something, if I had to guess. I can see that. What are these? Acne. Is the wash not fine? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't like the distressing. I mean, true, true, true. It looks very uh, yeah. bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. All right, mission failed. We coughed. <laughs> we coughed and I didn't return them. I fucking just kept them, but. Yeah. You know, a little birthday slurs never hurt anybody, right? Yeah. Right. But yeah, the women's store also went kind of crazy as always. Really always super nice people. Yes. Both stores. Best store in New York. No lie. No yeah, lie. The... Ooh. Oh, it's a no, different. It's a Mandarin. But it's like different color. A little contrast. Yeah. Inside out. What? Where is this from again? Uh, Ralph. <laughs> Vintage, like vintage polo. You know what I mean? What? The banker, bro, when they have like the, like the blue shirt, white collar. Oh, white Oh my. Yeah. I can't believe you didn't notice it was a different yeah, I, color. I'm actually blind, bro. Dude, the avant garde fucking polo with the inside. <laughs> Deconstructed Margiela vibe. <laughs> Like, what? 
what I, the thing that caught me about this jacket, I like the the ribbing. Yeah, yeah, same. It's really nice. Cool, cool detail. Yeah, yeah. But just so you're aware for the men's side, it's skinnier fits to our wider and flare fits. Mm -hmm. Same for the ladies, wider and flare fits too. But then with the drawers, um, so what's really cool is, so I pulled these for you, which were an archive men's trouser. Uh -huh. They're marked down to 85 bucks from 340. These are the only size I have, which is a, probably a closer equivalent to 33, 34-ish, but I pulled them just in case. Really awesome material and textile. Mm -hmm. I also had these, so I picked these up really for myself the other day. There are newer, newer cargo styles. Um, this is a 32 in, but I know you, it's huge. Yeah, it's, it's super wide leg, but actually, so it's, I never usually go for something this baggy. Uh -huh. And then I tried it on and actually I fell in love with them. Um, super left field for me, especially from just how wide it is. Right. But I like the uh, ripstop material that it was constructed of. Mm -hmm. And then I like the pocket layout on it. Yeah, I, like the, yeah, I bought it out just for you to take a look. So these were another pair of women's shots that I had in the back. Mm -hmm. um, these have a double feet. Like this, might look really good because I know you scooped that. It was a vintage blazer that you had. Yeah. The details on it were sick though, yeah. the construction. So, pants like this might look good with it. Um, there was another trouser I had in the back. This one is more of a straighter leg, it has a slight kick to it. It has an elasticated drawstring, but my favorite thing is they put it on the inside. Yeah. So, even if you took a shirt into it, it still it's, looks right? yeah, it's, it's still very clean looking. Um, and then I had these, mm -hmm. biggest I had was a 40 in these, okay. but I did have a 42 in the black versions, which are these over here. Yeah. Thank you so much. Of course. And then, yeah, they did have the different ones too. I was just making sure they were the same Yeah, of course. So if you want to try and stand your on, you guys can honestly pop into the bigger room and you guys want to. Okay. Well, we tried. Day 300 of wearing women's pants. Like, uh, what would you call it? It's like rustic. Oh, I'm fucking with these actually. I might get these. Don't full acne fit. Acne. Sponsor me. No, I don't fuck with like rip stuff though. Like the gridded fabric. I don't know, I'm not bugging. Do you hear this? Yeah. And he said, because history is tragedy, not melodrama. In melodrama, all heroes have perfect virtue. All villains are perfectly bad, but nothing is like that. We're deeply wounded people, deeply flawed people, along with their great strengths. In fact, we live in this superficial media culture in which we presume that heroism is perfection, and it isn't. The Greeks invented it. Achilles has his heel and his hubris to go along with his great strength. So what heroism is, are the gods setting up stories for us mere mortals to look at and realize, Oh, they're negotiating between these factions within themselves. And sometimes that's not a negotiation. It's a war. Alright, welcome back to another show and tell video. If you're still around, I seriously appreciate you being here. I know it's been a while. I have some pickups from the past couple months that I wanted to share with you guys, so let's just get right into it. 
Right, starting with outerwear, this first piece is very special. This was sent over by the good people over at Professor E, and it is their clairvoyance jacket. Now, ever since I started the channel, I have featured Professor E's items throughout my videos, and getting sent something from one of my favorite brands is something that I am extremely grateful for. So thank you guys for checking out the videos and thank you to Polo and the Professor E team for making this happen. For the jacket itself, the silhouette is reminiscent of a kind of classic denim trucker jacket in my opinion. The exterior is made of two different fabrics and I really enjoy the contrasting texture. The jacket has a very distinct layered design at the front pockets as well as the back and it has a white cotton lining with raw edges that extends past the hems, which just kind of adds to the layered look of the piece. Yeah, really unique design, yet it is still subtle and versatile, which is something I look for in most of the items that I try to add to my wardrobe. It fits slightly boxy and oversized. This is a size 48, and I am 6'1 and 170 pounds. Yeah, definitely go check out Professor E's website. They're always putting out really unique stuff. And I think given the designs and fabrics that they use, the price is really reasonable overall. This next jacket is a high collar blouson from Le Mer. It is a women's piece, fits pretty oversized relative to its tag size. So this is a size 36, which equates to a woman's small or medium, I believe. Fits me like a pretty standard cropped jacket. The main features are obviously the high neck collar with concealed snap buttons, as well as the draw cord at the bottom hem, which allows you to adjust the width at the waist. You can also sort of flip the collar down and give it more of a spread collar kind of situation. So a couple of different options there. Now, if you've been following the channel for a bit, this last jacket may look a bit familiar to you. This is a Russian tankers jacket from the 1970s. I came across this exact same model in one of my older videos at a vintage store in Tokyo with mom, with mom, with Tom and Mario, but was fortunate enough to find it online for a fraction of the price. I actually got the full set, which includes a detachable hood, some Mr. Krabs looking gloves, and a pair of pants. Yeah, the jacket is made with a moleskin cotton and is double layered, so it's super heavy, but is really comfortable and the wear and fading that develops on the fabric is just insane. I know a few brands have referenced this design, so I'm very happy to own the original and the entire set ended up running like $100, which I think is a steal. Probably my most worn item category lately is shirts. Gonna run through these fairly quickly since there's not too much to say, but this first one is a Xenia stand collar shirt. I don't know the composition or size since the care label fell off, but I really like the texture of the fabric as well as the fit. It fits on the longer side and is very flowy and has a nice drape to it. This next shirt is the Our Legacy Borrowed shirt. The highlight here would definitely be the fabric. It's made of a cotton linen gauze fabric, really interesting blurred sort of plaid pattern on it. Also has a small OL logo embroidered on it. Yeah, in terms of sizing, this thing fits massive. I got a size 46 and I would say it fits more like an extra large. All right, this last shirt isn't a new pickup, but I've gotten a ton of questions about it. This is just a vintage Van Heusen shirt that I picked up in Tokyo. I definitely overpaid for this, but I'm confident you can find something very similar on eBay or Etsy for like 20 bucks. Um, yeah, just a regular standard vintage shirt. All right, moving on to everybody's favorite. This is a pair of Rick Owens Mastodon trousers from Fall Winter 17. These are made of a baby alpaca lana wool and nylon blend. Yeah, pretty straightforward pair of pants, but the fit, the color, and the fabric on these is just immaculate. In terms of sizing, this is a size 46, and I normally wear a size 32 waist. And I wear these a bit high-waisted since the front rise, as you can tell, is pretty long. But yeah, really great pair of pants, very happy with these. 
Next, I have two pairs of the same pants, but in different colors. These are the split hem cargo pants from Fax Copy Express, which is a Chinese brand. Tom actually put me onto these around a year ago, and I've been eyeing them ever since. So I got the brown ones in a size extra large, which fits more like a 32. And I got the black ones in a size large, which fits more like a 30 or 31. The brown ones are made of a 100% cotton twill, while the black ones are made with a cotton and polyester blend. Very similar in weight, both of them, and they're both very structured as well. Very fucking heavy, bro. Like, I'm having an arm workout trying to hold these up. In terms of design, they both have six pockets, zip closures, one of which has a large brown leather tassel hanging from it, as well as zippers at the bottom hem. Last pair of pants are these Acne Studios women's trousers that I picked up at the outlet store. They're just a pretty simple pair of black trousers with an elasticated waistband and a hidden drawstring at the waist. So you can throw them on like sweatpants, but they obviously look a lot more elegant and put together. And they're made of a mohair and wool blend. The inseam is surprisingly long, so they fit exactly how I like. And this is a size 42. Again, I normally wear around a size 32 waist. Last up are boots. This is a pair of Bottega Veneta lug boots with the side zip. I believe these are introduced in the last year or so. The leather quality is amazing and these just go with pretty much all of my pants. So very excited to wear these. These next two pairs of boots, I'm unfortunately not gonna be keeping, but if you're interested, please hit me up and let me know. And I'll probably throw them up on my website as well. This is a pair of Rick Owens Bozo Mega Tooth boots in the kind of waxed nubuck. This is a size 44 and I would say they fit true to size, maybe even a little bit snug. Yeah, really interesting shape, fat sole, so you can wear all of your long ass pants with these. Dope shoes, love the material, but would very much love to get these to somebody who would give them the love and wear that they deserve. Last are these Anne de Meester Alec boots in the cross to leather iteration. These are also a size 44 and they fit true to size. I've only ever tried these on, but the quality and the texture on these is insane. They also have a side zip for easy entry, as well as a very nice lug sole. So I'll be throwing up the Rick boots and Andy boots on my website, as well as a few other items. So please feel free to check that out if you're interested. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching as always. I hope you're doing well and I'll catch you soon.